Hey, what's up, guys? Did you get grief bills again? We're gonna today. We're gonna talk about the Manfrotto joystick head. I know a lot of you guys have uh, a lot of questions on ball heads and whatnot, so this is one of my favorite ones. So I'm gonna go over this head here. Uh, I personally use this myself. This is the Manfrotto 322RC2. Just wondering if you guys can see that. The Manfrotto 322RC2 joystick ball head. We're going to go over the 322 head today and I wanted to show you some cool, I guess, features of this uh, head that I've been using. So you guys are probably used to many of the traditional uh, ball heads. This is the 496 RC2. This is the very classic traditional one that everybody's used to. It's just the typical ball head swivel type joint here. With this one, there's no switches. All it is is this little trigger here. All you do is squeeze it and then you can rotate it, move it, turn around left to right, up and down. So the advantage of having a joystick head versus a ball head here, uh, I personally think is the, the joystick is a lot easier to compose your shots and your different angles and whatnot when you're shooting really, really fast. So all you do is you grab the trigger, pull it, turn it left and right, up and down, very, very simple. When you have the ball head, you can do the same thing, just little extra steps so you have to unlock it and then change the angle where you want when you're taking your shot and then lock it back up so this joystick saves you a lot more time it's a lot faster you can do portrait shots just like that really fast I'll give you a demonstration with the camera later so let's go to the components of it this is solid solid very it's an all metal con um, construction here uh, it's got the RC2 plate, very popular, very simple. You flick the little safety switch, you pull this lever here, and it pops it open. You take it out, you're good to go. Everything is all metal. I really like it. Very solid. Even the base here is all metal. Uh, it has a spirit level built in, so you can check your balances. There's also a fine-tune friction adjustment. You just turn this left or right, however uh, friction you want. So if you want it to be stiffer, you can go... Uh, add more uh, friction to it so it doesn't slide down so fast if you have a heavy lens on there or whatnot so you can fine-tune it all the way you like and um, it's all metal construction which I love it's it takes up a lot of weight uh, the maximum capacity on this head is about 11 pounds uh, I haven't tested that heavy yet so far I've tested it up to about six pounds with my gear and if it's been holding very well so I'll give you a demonstration in a bit to show you how strong that is um, and this one uh, this head weighs about a 1.5 pounds not super light if you're gonna travel with this but it's a great solid head so definitely if you want a great head that doesn't sag or or creep down like the other cheaper brands Definitely the Manfrotto is the one to go. Um, I know a lot of people complain about the cheaper brand ones where they just creep and they just, they fall over. They're not that great. This is solid, solid, solid. I could even pick this up by the handle and it's lifting up and down. It's that solid. The cheaper ones out there, they definitely will probably just fall off. So great, great, great head. I use this all the time in all my shots. Very stable, very solid, very steady, will not shake on you. That's why I have it on a very thick tripod. Um, but I still love my ball head. My ball head is a very light, portable version. Uh, this ball head's only one pound, actually 0.9 pound to be exact. It's a lot lighter. Uh, so if, uh, this is my setup that I sometimes bring with me when I travel uh, on a hike or whatnot. Um, this is a Delica leg setup with the Manfrotto 496 head. It's a lot lighter uh, compared to this one here. So I definitely love to use this too as well. Very solid, very good construction. The maximum weight capacity on this one is uh, about 10 pounds. So very similar to this one here. Um, so uh, I would recommend this one if you're gonna be a light traveler and this one if you just wanna keep it at home in the studio or if you want to do uh, light hikes or just short distances, this one's pretty good as well so you don't have to travel so far with it. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys how uh, it's mounted. Okay, so let me show you guys how to attach your camera with the RC2 plate. So like I said earlier, 
This has a RC2 plate, which is very popular for all Manfrotto heads. And the great thing about it is a quick release system. All you do is just pull the trigger, and there you go, it pops open. You take your plate, take your camera, put it under the tripod mounts, screw it in together, make sure it lines up that says lens on there. It's labeled on the on the plate itself, so make sure wherever your lens is pointing forward, you line up with that. Take the lens, put the camera with the body and the plate down below on here, and, get, and so just push down, and it clips right on. Very solid. There's a safety switch. You can flick that. Very, very solid. Like I said, you can just move it left and right. That's the great thing about a joystick head. You can just move it. You can do it that way, sideways. There you go. Holds it very well. This is portrait. This is horizontal. Holds it very well. Holds any angle you like, just like that. Very easy. No adjustments required like the uh, classic ball head version. So that's what I love about this. You can change it to any angle you want. You can move around, up and down. Holds it in place very well. Like I said, it holds about up to 11 pounds and more for some people who've tested it. So like I said, this is a great head. This is the Manfrotto 322RC2 joystick ball head. And like I showed you earlier on the joystick head, so I'm gonna put the camera now onto the classic 496 head. Very similar setup. This is great, like I showed you, this is the RC2 plate onto the RC2 head. All you do is put it down, like so, and snap, and it's locked in, and you just twist that to unlock, and then you can move the ball head any direction you like, and then you lock it back up, like so. Very simple. So this is also one of my favorite compact ones. This is great for if you want to travel, very solid, full uh, metal construction as well. Uh, it's just that I prefer the joystick because it's a lot faster. That's You're just using it for convenience of the speed. Uh, otherwise, they're both very, very good, very solid heads. I recommend both of them. So, highly recommend a Manfrotto head. Built very solid and the price is just right for durability. And uh, it's going to last you for a long, long time. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, leave me any comments. And subscribe to my channel. I'll just give you guys some more reviews. See ya.